Hey guys, it's Zach and we're back. Do you like my face? Anyway, this video is on the most budget, but also the most potato setup of 2016. At least as far as I know. Anyway, this is the crummy PC setup. It's one of these Dell towers that the school system often uses because they are extremely inexpensive. I have a CRT monitor. The machine itself has two gigs of RAM and a graphics processor that probably came out of an Amstrad CPC or something. It's not powerful. And a hundred and fifty gigs of actual storage. Now, those are meh tech specs but I'm getting a lot of bang for my buck. Why? Because I'm getting infinite bang for my buck because I didn't pay anything and I am actually getting some performance for nothing whatsoever. Anyway, in terms of internet connection, who needs a wireless modem when you can have a 20-foot ethernet cable? I am not kidding goes up through this unfinished ceiling and up to the modem on the actual proper computer that you may have seen in my face reveal video from a couple of years ago. Anyway, this was just to, just to see what could I do with this potato that was given to me for nothing. Anyway, so I've attempted to play Need for Speed and a couple of other games like that on this, though it'll only play the retro run, the retro ones. Like, for instance, Hot Pursuit 2 and Need for Speed Carbon. But it's decent enough that it actually has Grand Theft Auto on it. A discless copy of San Andreas. Now, other than that, the one other game on there is a game called Midtown Madness 2. I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's got a bit of a small cult following. But that is because it is as easy to mod as, for instance, Gary's mod. You simply drop the file that you've downloaded off the internet into the game files, and there, that's it. It runs. There's no installers or anything. So, naturally, I have modded the living daylights out of it. Fun fact, Midtown Madness 2 was the first video game I ever played. And that's actually the same save file. <laughs> there was a backup disk that I found in a bunch of my dad's old things and it happened to have my save file on it. Anyway, I've actually downloaded a screen recorder. I don't know that if the computer is actually going to be capable enough to run a screen recorder and a game at the same time. We'll see. If it does, then I might do some Midtown Madness 2 videos because the mods are insane the top speed that you can achieve in a car with a modded power is around what was it 18,000 miles per hour anyway the computer's a piece of junk the the speakers that I've got on it are over 15 years old they have been attached to several different PCs and once again belonged to my father. And anyway, it was just a fun little idea. Nothing special. However, if I do get the screen recorders working, there are two things over here that I would quite like to do some videos on. So. I'll only do one of them because I've promised I've, I'll give 
the other one to a friend. So let's have a little debate in the comments. Which one should I do? Anyway, I'll see you next time. The, my next video will probably be a Rockstar Editor clip from Grand Theft Auto V. I love making those things. They take a while to do, but they're in, but they're really fun. Anyway, until then, I'm off. See you later.